South Park. Penis joke. Now you may be thinking, but Rain Pop, you've already reviewed this movie. And to that I say, yes, but this is my 100th video. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna review technically my first real video Cuz my first real real video my first video was just an introduction and my favorite movie So where do we begin the film starts off with the paramount logo it looks beautiful as always and I love how it just starts off so peacefully like the South Park sign the bigger longer and uncut Stan walks out like, oh, what a beautiful day. <sighs> so he goes, so he's gonna go get all of his friends together to go see the new Terrence Phillip movie, Ass of the Fire. So he gets all of them, and something that I really like is that all of their parents say something, except Cartman, who is a doormat. Kenny's mom is like, where do you think you're going? He's like, I already see the new Terrence Phillip movie. She's like, oh, no, you don't, you got church. He's like, uh, no, I don't. Well, she's like, okay, when you die and go to hell, you can answer the saint. He's like, okay. And then the film just goes on like this. Like, he's literally that. And then the the next, like, he's just so casual. He's just like, okay. You can see your breath hanging in the air. It's that, that's genius. And we have to Kyle. Kyle's kicking the baby. Top 10 best, top 10 manliest sports. Kyle's mom. It's like, where do you think going? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go see a movie. Okay, he does that. He's saying, oh, I got an ice skating. She's like, okay, take ice. I'm sick of this shit. He's like, oh, really? So they go get Cartman, and he's like, yes. So they all go, and they're like, it's going to be the greatest film ever created. There's only one problem. They are little boy. This is big boy movie. So they're like, huh. I got it. They go pay a homeless guy 10 bucks, and I really like the scene. He's like, uh, I don't know about this. And Sam's like, what's the name of this homeless guy? If you don't want to buy us those tickets, and not get you 10 bucks, not go buy us a bottle of vodka and be my guest. He's like, uh, six tickets. So the film's starting, and th this is something that confused me. So we see Stan ask his mom for money, but we. But then it's like. Then it's like not, and then they have like, they have, they have soda, all of them. Carmen has a bunch of candy and like stuff. How did they not, how did they not have money? They they, they bought all that. Anyways, so they're watching the movie and Terrence and Philip are on screen. They're like, yay. Then Terrence and Philip start cursing. Oh no, the big bad fuck. And they're like, ugh. Okay, no, they don't like that. They're like, oh. What the hell? Yeah, I didn't expect Chris to get a movie called Ass is a Fire. <laughs> so then, Terry Phillips, I've seen one of the greatest songs ever created. Mozart would be proud. Uncle Fucker. Uncle. Okay. So then. Uh, so that cuts, I like the joke, where one of the, where one of the people leaving is like, what garbage? And then Logan says, well, what do you expect? They're Canadian. So then the film ends, it says three hours later, which like, Jesus Christ, I didn't know that this is the chance to fill up Snyder cut. So then they walk out like, that movie was fucking sweet. You bet your fucking ass it was fucked, dude. When I grow up, I want to be just like Tantra Phillips. And then the guy's like, wait, 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 where's that homeless guy? And they're like, who? They're like, damn it, he paints one to get it. It always happens. He's like, that fucking sucks, bro. So, yeah, so then they go to this pond where everyone's hanging out. And they're like, bro, where have you been? They're like, oh, no, where we just saw the Terrence and Phillip movie. And like, how'd you get in? And they're like, mm, it's easy. Go pay a homeless guy. So then, you meet Gregory, Gregory Lee, I don't know, who's from like, somewhere, I don't know, he's British. 
and he's talking about like viewpoint averages and shit and then it's like oh we just want to saw the tens of book movies like oh you a published movie come on tag along wendy let's go jump over the prickly bush like bro do british people British people gotta be clowning. Like no one, no one talks like this. No one calls chips crisps. No one calls fries chips. No one calls yogurt yogurt. Like bro, these people are actually clowning. They're just trolling us. So then the next day, everyone has seen the movie. And they have Tanda Phillips shirts. It's like another movie. Like I don't know how long the movie's been out in the world, but like how does everyone have shirts? And where do I get these shirts? I I wear I wear the ass of the fire shirt. So Miss Ugarza comes in, this seems absolute fire. It's like, okay, class, settle down, settle down. Today we're gonna learn some math. They won't know. Let's do, oh, I'll remember that actually quick. Let's do, what's three times six? Yes, Clyde, 12. Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not completely retarded. Anyone, don't be shy. Clyde goes, I think I know the answer, Miss Ugarza. Carmen goes, I don't think I know the answer. goes, shut up, fat boy. Carmen goes, hey, don't call me fat. I mean, fake fucking Jew. Eric, did you just say the F word? Jew. What, Jew? No, you're talking about fuck. Get that fucking school, you fucking fat ass. Kyle, why the fuck not? Eric, did you just said fuck again. Stanley, Fook, Kenny. What's the big deal? It's not hurting anyone. Fuck, fuck, you fuck her, fuck. How would you like to see the school prime minister? How would you like to suck my balls? <gasps> what did you just say? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What I meant to say was... <clears throat> How would you like to suck my balls, Mr. Garrison? That scene, S tier. That, that should have won the movie, the Oscar, right there. It didn't, because the election, because everything is rigged. So then Mr. Matthews class is like, where the hell did you learn this? He's like, uh, Mr. Garrison. So pull out a list. They had a list. It's like, uh, boys, I doubt Mr. Garrison ever said, uh, eat penguin shit, you ass be honker. So then all their parents walk in like, what happened? He's like, uh, I'm afraid to say your kids are cussing. <gasps> what the hell? So they all grounded in cart. So they all grounded. They can't see the, the movie anymore. Cal's mom... Is like this is this is all Canada's fault. So we cut to a uh, news anchor. That's like the Canadian film Ashes of Fire is number one at the box office, but stirring up some controversy. Here with the more is a midget in a bikini. So they're just so every so the Canadian Prime Minister. Is like, well, the film's where it are, and it's not meant for kids. She was like, well, of course, fucking kids are gonna see it. Yeah, this film's basically saying, saying, hey, uh, you, you, you bang system, fuck you. You don't do your fucking job. People will find a way to get into it. So, bang system, this, this right here, this, 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 this can be a chair. This is you. You can sit on it. So, then the. So then we see Mr. Mackey. It's like, okay, kids, you guys need to go to rehab for cursing. There are times when you get suckered in. All the songs just move. There are times when you get suckered in by drugs. So then he sings a song. You're like, okay, we're not gonna curse anymore. We need replacement curse weights because we're smart like that. So he's like, okay, guys, you go do something that will make you relax. You know, that's a day off. So they immediately go into the movie, and that, that made me laugh so hard when I first saw the film. So the film ends with Terrence and Philip on them trying to light their fart on fire. Carmen's like, yeah, they're probably bad money. Farts on fire is complete bullshit. Okay, he's like, no, you can do that. He's like, okay, bet, do it right now. Right now, I'll give you 50 bucks. Okay, and he does it, he fucking dies. Said Cartman. So he's on fire. Carmen tries to beam with a stick. Then you get, then a bunch of salt gets dumped on him. We see him in the ER, and they're saying all this big, all these big words that my lizard brain would not understand. 
then they put baked potato. They they try to microwave his heart, baked potato. So they put it in there instead. So Kane wakes up. He's like, "What the hell happened?" He's like, "Uh, yeah, you got three seconds to live. We replace your heart with baked potato." He's like, "Whoop!" So they're covered in it. Carm and everyone's like, "Damn." Kyle's like, "It's not your fault, Carmen." He's like, "Oh no, I'm stoked. I gotta pay him now." So all their moms walk in like. What happened? They're like, um, yeah, about that. So then they figure out that they saw the movie and they're grounded now. <gasps> they're put in solitary confinement. My hat. So then they. So then Sheila Brothouse, Kyle's mom, is like, I'm sick of this shit. We declare war on Canada. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that the blame Canada scene comes first. Oh wait, no, it comes after, I'm pretty sure I guess all that. So then they're all like So they go, and they have a whole operation. So Terrence and Philip, who think they're all that, they're the shit now, get brought to this like talk show. And they're talking about the movie, and they're like, oh yeah, it's amazing, and all that. So they're like, uh, guys, you know, people are saying, they, uh, why are you in America? You know, people want you dead. And they're like, Pfft. You're gonna have to find us first. So you're like, yeah, you're right. No! So then all these. So then the FBI, still Team 6, everyone rust, bust in. And it's like, alright! Oh. Tanta Phil get arrested and they're like, oh, you piece of shit! You set us up! You liked the movie! You laughed! You gave a lie, you laughed! He's like, damn. Damn, what have I done? Jumps out a window and he dies. So then the next scene, I guess, I don't know, this might not be the next scene. All of the uh, parents are like, okay, Canada is at fault for everything. You know, Titanic, that was Canada's doing. 9 11, Canada. <laughs> Everything is Canada's fault. Canada assassinated JFK. So are like, yeah, sure. So they sing a bitch in a song called Blame Canada, oh which the film got nominated for, and it should have won. It uh, lost to Tarzan, which, what, 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 what song in Tarzan is as good as Blame Canada? Bro? Like, what, what song? None. So then, next scene, Kyle Kermit is like, hey, let's sing the best song in the movie. Kyle's mom is a bitch. <laughs> One of applause, best song. Don't say it's not, it is. But they sing that absolute monumentally awesome fire banger song. Kyle's mom pulls up and he's like, oh. Oh shit. So the next scene, they're like, okay, okay, okay. You don't want your kids cussing. We have the solution to your kids not cussing. So they pull out Dr. Carmen. He's like, what happened? They're like, okay, you little fat boy, curse. Say these words right here. So then, it's just normal words. That's like donkey fucker. That was donkey fucker. They get zapped. He's like, ah, what the hell? So, 
Philly. They're like, okay, cuss again. Do it. I dare you. No balls. He's like, now. And he's like, congrats. The kid doesn't want to swear. Like, this isn't right, you motherfuckers. <laughs> so he's bagged on around, and I find that so funny. The next scene, they're like, uh, yo, mom. So this is like big bonfire, all stuff Canadian. So Stanley's like, hey, mom. Mom, this is bad. Uh, you shouldn't be doing this, Kyle. Kyle pulls up, but he says nothing. His mom's like, what are you doing? You're grounded, boy. You're grounded. He's like, okay. So Kyle's like, I knew it wouldn't work. He says, like, I'm sick of this shit. We got to take a stand. We got free tickets to fill up ourselves. Which, if you think about it, uh, no. You're kids. You're dumb. You, you're, you're weak. You're dumb. You're stupid. You're gonna get gunned down now. Armed soldiers with, like, tanks and shit. Ready for war. So, the problem with Tantafil being locked away is that most of Canada's revenue is coming from Tantafil. So, no Tantafil means no funds. So, they're gonna execute Tantafil because they're war criminals, I guess. So, they have only a couple days. So you sing a song about what... What would Brian Boitano do if he was here right now? He'd make a plan and he'd follow... And they're like, huh. We're gonna get all the kids. We're gonna get... We're gonna go. We're gonna bust hands and fill up out. So they do that. And when the moms are gone, no one's watching them. They go upstairs. They, uh... Type it all, yeah. Early in the film, they type up, they say rim job. And all the parents are like, what is a rim job? Cartman's mom, of course, knew that. So, so one of them's like, hey, what's a rim job? Like, okay. It's like, just like German scat porn. He's like, oh, it's a lady getting shit on. He's like, where's it, Cartman's mom? And then, what's Cartman's mom? We like, don't, we don't like see it. We don't see it, see it, but we kind of see it covered. Like, oh, what the? F is that? that, that had me rolling when I first saw it. So I just got done watching season one, and I was like halfway through season two because it was back on Hulu. The, I, it, South Park used to be on Hulu, and I had Hulu when it was, and I just got done watching season one like a few weeks before watching the movie. So I was like, oh, ho, ho, that's smart. So then, uh, so then they make a chat room. Like, okay, if you want to help free chance to fill up and be integrated in the Canada on your society or some shit, then meet here at this time. There will be punch and pie. There was not punch and pie, sadly. So they meet, and Gregory pulls up. They have a safe word, and Gregory doesn't know that. He just heard about it through the Great Bush. They're like, what's the secret word? He's like, uh, bacon. So he's like, okay, yeah, fine. So they all come in, and one, two of them are like, uh, we were told to be punch and pie. And they're like, oh, there isn't. So they get up and leave. It would have been a lot funnier if like half the kids got up and left. So, Stan's idea is to prank call policemen and send them pieces they don't order. Gregory is like, okay, they're getting executed at this time. They're being here. If we sneak in here, we can do this, which cause this, and do this. So they all sing a song called Loud as the Stops, which is like a mashup. Oh yes, I forgot the Satan subplot because I'm dumb. So after Kenny Diaz, he goes to hell and we meet Satan. And Satan's torturing him or we meet Saddam Hussein, who is Satan's boyfriend, I guess. So they're gonna go to Earth when Satan and Philip are dead. And Saddam just wants sex. Satan's like, bro, I'm talking about serious stuff. So, so Saddam is being abusive. And say, and Kenny's like, hey, but gotta get up. Yeah, break up with him. He's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that later. 
but he doesn't. Kane's like, oh, whatever you say, bro. So he sings a song called Up There, and I know this is a hot take, but Up There is my least favorite song. I, if, now I can understand. I'd probably say the worst song is probably Hell Isn't Good. The, the beat is good, but I can't understand the lyrics. So I won't even count that song. Up There, I know it's supposed to be a slow song, but I think it's just too slow for the movie. I'm watching South Park bigger, longer, uncut. I want to hear Satan ramble on about wanting to go to the surface world. Wait, 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 cry me a river. I missed the part where that's my problem. So, then, uh, <laughs> then they, they have to meet up with this dude, the mole. They meet up with the mole, who's a kid who smokes cigarettes and shit, has a shovel. So they go, and they have to go cut the lights, break up on the stage, get to answer Philip, leave, Flame back to Canada, and then Canada will just protect them. Full proof pan. Okay? So they go, and they do all that. And Cartman is supposed to go cut the light, but it doesn't. So the full proof plan doesn't go full proof, and Mole dies. But Tansy Phillips get freed, and Cartman shuts off the electric chairs, shocking him, which messed up the V chip. We'll talk about that later. So Tansy Phillips are about to get killed. Can't invade, dropping bombs on them. They have to fight America. And you might be thinking, oh, Canada's gonna lose. They're fucking fragile. They're gonna lose by the fall. They're gonna retreat after two seconds. No, uh, uh. This ain't Quebec. Quebec was too afraid to come. So they're fighting and they take hands and fall. They're like, okay, we gotta go to the round the booth point. But they get caught. And they're like, Oh shit. And the guy's about to fire. Kyle walks up, gives a monumental speech that won him a Nobel Peace Prize about not wanting a fighter, needing a mom. He's like, What about Ike, mom? For your own son is Canadian. And she's like, Uh, forget that part. So he stands in front of Tantaville. He's like, I'm not gonna let you shoot. And she's like, I will give two fifths of a fuck about what you want. Bang, 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 bang. Tansy Phillips die and their blood reaching the soil. And then a big swell of darkness comes in saying, he's like, you sinned. I can come up here for a million years because I want to. Everyone's like, great fucking going. Oh yeah, there's a scene where they project the plan to kill Terrence and Phillip. And they have a bunch of dark soldiers. And they're talking about like a plan. Where the black soldiers will be the human shields and Chef is like, wait! He's like, have you ever heard of the something something? The Mexican Proclamation? I don't know what that was. Cause I'm dumb and I dropped out first grade. And the guy's like, I don't listen to hip hop. So anyway, soldiers, that part was also funny. So they go into war and they just like taped a bunch of black people to like tanks and shit. And that's what we like the human shield. So they get the rest of the black soldiers. So she was like the lead. They count one, two, and the game. The guy's like, fire! And then they just duck and everyone blows up. And it's called like Operation Human Shield, Operation Get Behind the Darkie. That that is messed up, but it's funny. So then Sam pulls up. So Dominic Saint is like, yeah, now build a, build a statue over there with that fat ass kid there. He's like, what you call it? So he cusses, but he shoots a bolt of electricity. He's like, so he starts cussing and he shoots Saddam Hussein. He kills Saddam Hussein ish, kind of. Saddam Hussein's like, well, Saint, go fucking kill him. Saint's like, I am so sick of your fucking shit. Picks up Saddam Hussein, he throws him, he dies. He's like, well, thanks, Kenny. Like, you told me I should have left. I probably should have listened to you, but I didn't. Uh, I'll give you a wish. Okay, he's like, I, I, I want all this to be gone. Like, like I, I, this 
shit sucks. So he heroically sacrificed himself. He's supposed to go to hell, but he goes to heaven and there. He gets all the titties. So the film ends with a remix of Mountain Town, which is a pretty fire trap remix. I cannot cap. Film ends. Kenny goes to heaven. He gets smothered in boobies. Top 10 greatest anime ending ever. This film's awesome. This film's amazing. And look, why, why is this my favorite film movie, ask him? It, it is like the big embodiment. Most films that I would say are in my top 15 favorite embody what a film should be. An escape from reality. Too many films try to push a moral down your throat. They don't try to tell you, they don't try to tell you a story, they just try to tell you the moral. The moral comes first, the story comes second. If you ask me, a film can do that and be good, but it shouldn't, but it should be a film first, a moral second. This film moral is fuck censorship, but her parents will get mad as well if their kids do something they don't like. That's just how it's gonna go, and this film is that perfectly. The rating system was going to give this an F if it had 400 cuss words in it, so they intentionally had 399 cuss words in it. There was so much shit. The fact that some came out as good as it did with the amount of hurdles they had to jump through is wild. Imagination Lane was supposed to be a second film, but after what they went through with this, they didn't want to do it again. Everything about this film is amazing. It doesn't look outdated. The jokes are funny. The story's good. It's, the songs are great. This film is amazing. And it really does embody what I think a film should be. An escape from reality. My name is 5 Stairs, Will Be Frog. Thanks for 100 videos. I approve this message.